Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I will show you some uh, strap options, strap uh, alternatives for the Tudor Black Bay GMT, the black dial. As you all know by now, there is a white dial as well with a blue and the red bezel. I have here the black dial, so I will start with this uh, leather strap made by, uh, by uh, Joseph Boni. It's a blue leather strap. Important for this uh, watch is that uh, we all know that the watch is uh, thick. It's about uh, 14 point, more than 14.5 millimeters in uh, thickness. And uh, when you are adding a strap other than um, a metal strap with uh, endings here, it will show a lot of this thickness from the side. So when you add a leather strap, it is important that the distance from the holes from the tunnel where the spring bar is coming inside to the top to be a little bit bigger and to cover this area as much as possible. This strap is doing this job quite good, I will say. The strap is very nice looking. It's comfortable. It's soft. It's beautiful. Now this is how it looks on my on my wrist. It looks quite good. And it holds the weight of the watch head quite good. So all in all, it's a comfortable strap, a good alternative for my Black Bay GMT. As you can see, it matches the colors on the bezel very well. As you see, I have here two more options. So next I will show you the rubber. And the last will be the metal bracelet. So we have three options. One that it will give a vintage feel to this watch, the leather one that you can wear at winter, the rubber that can be worn during summertime and the metal, it's an all season type of bracelet. Okay, so let's go with the rubber next. Okay, <clears throat> now I have changed the leather blue one with the black rubber rubber strap. This strap is uh, made by Vanguard. I have this strap for a while now and I did wear the watch on the warm climate. It's a thick, very comfortable as well. Okay, this uh, type of uh, fitted fitted um, lugs here rubber strap it will it will come down and it will uh, if you have a bigger a bigger wrist it will stay like this and it's not very comfortable I will show you on my wrist it comes okay but just if you have a bigger wrist it will just your wrist will push the rubber strap like this and it will not be very comfortable to the fact that the strap is not moving on the in between the lugs it's fixed advantages and disadvantages but overall it looks <clears throat> very good and it gives this watch a feel like a tank watch you cannot hear anything no jinglings no nothing it just feels and wear like a tough tool watch let's go now i will show you the buckle it has a shield that matches the tudor shield okay let's go and have a wrist shot on the wrist 
a totally different feel than the leather one. I must say that I really like this one due to the fact that it's it's uh, it feels like a tough tough watch. You cannot hear anything, no nothing. It's just feeling like you have one body watch is not made of different parts it's like one piece that works very well together and the last one <clears throat> i will remove the rubber one and i will add this um, J metal bracelet from uh, Forstner and I will show you how it looks okay I will remove this one and add the other one okay and now the, the last option after the leather blue and the black rubber we have the J model from Forstner this is the um, Jubilee style bracelet it tapers from 22 to 16 it has a good male clasp with a lot of micro adjustment two button push release the end links are fitting quite good between the end links and the watch head there is a gap very good for gripping okay and now let's go with the to show you how it looks on the wrist and to and this video this bracelet it's quite comfortable on the wrist it holds this watch very well usually when you have a, a big watch or a heavy watch you have to to adjust the bracelet to be more tight on the wrist so it holds better the weight of the watch all that being said thank you for watching and see you on the next video bye bye